This video is sponsored by Shopify. This is a time travel themed escape room in a box. I'll have to complete multiple levels in order to solve this puzzle. Like this video, subscribe, and let's get into it. Hello, Chris. Honor to meet you, dear boy. We have had such great things. To give it its full title, it is the Temporal Reconstruction Analysis Experiment, or TRACKS. TRACKS signifies an incredible breakthrough in historical exploration. It can recreate moments from the past and bring them to the present through time windows. We have suffered a rogue intern. She has traveled through some of the time windows and, and stolen some precious artifacts from England's past. Your mission is to track her down and recover the artifacts. Now, the device you have is a portable viewing machine. The main body of tracks is still in England, so that does mean that you can only access the time windows currently stored in tracks which are places of British historical importance. Now you can create a miniature Chris so that you are at the right scale. Simply take in a deep breath and input your DNA into the miniaturization station. Insert finger into miniaturization station. Oh, look at this. It's a me. <laughs> it's an action figure. It's actually quite terrifying. <laughs> Welcome to 1859. Oh my Big goodness! Big is about to strike 7 p.m. Now we know this is the last place the intern went. She must have been looking for something valuable. Now you can place Mini Chris into any of the grooves that match the base. Good luck and no pressure. This is pretty cool. So this thing just opened up. I've got my action figure, and they said that I can place it onto one of these uh, things, anyone I want. So nice that they've given me a miniature version of myself, but also if I was small, this puzzle would probably be a lot easier. Whoa. This video is brought to you by Shopify. Shopify is an all-in-one, easy to use commerce platform that I've been using for the past four years. Whether you're just starting your business or looking to scale the business, there are so many tools that Shopify has available for you to use. And we'll be using a bunch of them from November 24th, that's today, up until the 27th for our Black Friday sale. And fun fact, more than 52 million consumers globally purchased from brands powered by Shopify last year, which is a 12% increase from 2021 during Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. And on top of that, Shopify is also easy to integrate with your favorite social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. So go to shopify.com slash Chris Ramsey for your free trial. And thanks again to Shopify for sponsoring this video. And now, well, time to go solve this puzzle. Start the first one. Okay. Let's see if I can. A different sound. And the lights go off here. Also to be noted, there is a little eye right there. So a symbol. Oh, I can move this. Nice. Okay. Oh. I'm pretty sure I got to put my eye through this. There's like a lens here. And we've got this lever. So what does this lever do right now? Let's. Okay, low, high, medium, l low, right? There's little bells here though. What are those for? All right, let's see here if we, oh wait. Oh, it looks like a number. Nine, maybe. You, I don't know if you guys see that. You see, it looks like a nine. Oh, it's actually pretty good. And then, which is what number? One. You can see that, right? No, you can't. Oh, cool. Look, it's a one. Oh, how cool is that? That one is a, a three, maybe. And then nine, and then nine again. 
maybe nine. Nine, one, three, nine, what does that mean? Nine, one, three, nine. So nine being that, one being the big hand, right? Three being the small hand, and the nine being that one. Oh, oh, how cool is that? Hey, we have a cog, just fell from the ceiling. Did you see that? He's like, oh my God, oh my God, it fell from up there. Uh, and here, 1993, now that's a date that makes more sense to me. Let's punch that in here, 1993. 1859 completed. And the golden gear. Remove mini Chris and the golden gear. All right. Oh my God. Wait. Wait. Chris, how well done, you made it to the 1990s. All right, folks, it looks like we have ourselves, what is this, like a dive bar where like raves happen? Let's get, Mini Chris in on here and see what happens. No way. Look at the lights. <laughs> that is so terrifying. Look at me. <laughs> so we got lights bumping. It says you can't handle this over there. Uh, we got a little target here, something there. Oh my God, there's like little alcohol bottles and everything. This is so cool. A little diorama of a rave. All right, let's see if Let's see if this does something else if I place them here. <laughs> and then we also have back here behind the bar, there's another one of these things. So let me just, nothing happens there. There's colors here on the beer taps. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. It's a drink. I spun <laughs> or the little, uh, little DJ booth thing. And we have a little drink here. A little drinky drink. Oh, and there's little spots for the drinks. There's one. Oh, I gotta find the other drinks. Okay. Check the stalls here. Oh no. Must have broken the, uh, or broke the door. Oh wait. Oh! Oh, <laughs> there's smoke. Is that supposed to happen? Did we break the puzzle? Is this overheating? All right, so in this bathroom stall, which is out of order, as you can see, there is another drink. We shall grab that. Place a little drink on here as well. And then what else do we have here? We've got a little mirror. Okay, some type of mirror. Not sure what that's used for quite yet. I'm wondering if there's any symbols in here that I need to use. And then do I take this and place it back in here? No. We're missing one glass. Is it maybe up on the shelf here somewhere? Oh, there's a black light. Can you guys see that? Women's handle. Open women's handle. Oh, okay, so that just basically shows me what I already figured out. Like you have we still have this, which we have no idea what this is. And we got this little, um, target down here, which we also don't know. And I look absolutely terrified to be in this rave right now. Like just so, so scared. There is a laser beam. It's hard to see because the smoke keeps going away, but you can kind of see the little red beam right there. So maybe I got to beam this into, into the little target and stand buddy here, maybe. Okay, you guys gotta understand this came all the way from the UK. There are a lot of pieces here, a lot of moving parts in a puzzle like this. Uh, the smoke thing did empty, so we had to improvise with our own smoke. And I was informed that a really important prop, which is a second mirror, uh, somehow got lost uh, in the mechanism somewhere. So we had to improvise and we have our own uh, little mirror here. So what we're gonna be doing is bouncing. We found that laser here and we, we had to use essentially two mirrors to bounce that laser. He needs to be here. Okay, let's try it out one more time.
Ah, that's cool. <laughs> so a laser sensor opens this door. We've got our third martini here. And this just popped open. What's in here? Oh, look at that. Look at this. What do we have here? It says property of Fat Boy Slim. Check it out now. The funk so these are all albums. They've got things inside. Little vinyls. Alright, we'll keep that there. They have little miniature little vinyls inside. They're all the Fat Boy Slim albums. Oh! That's not Fat Boy Slim. And then 598 here. Let's try 598. 1993 oh. completed. Remove Mini Chris and the records. Oh God, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Well done, Chris, you're on her trail. Now our readouts are showing you've opened a window to the distant past on the edge of Jorvik settlement. Now, those Viking raiders do look rather angry. Do be careful. All right, little Ramsey, time to enter your Viking era. Here we go. First of all, I see a few things. I see, I definitely see something up in that tree, which we can probably uh, extract. Was that smoke coming out? Oh my God, there's a dude in here. Look at this man. There's a man in there. He seems terrified that his house is burning. Let's figure out what's going on here. So we have this, which I can't really extract. I need a tool or something to get that out. I can't get that out. <laughs> Wait a second. Ah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> this is a red herring. <laughs> I actually appreciate that they told me it was a red herring rather than just having me look down a a possible path. We got a chicken here. The chicken's got, looks like eggs. This Viking doesn't move. Not sure what I'm allowed to play. We got a shovel. Oh, there's some actual dirt here. Look at that, a little pile of dirt. If we move, there's something here. What is that? Okay, a little pitcher of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what to do at this point because the sensor I don't think is working here. Hello, stranger. Never mind. I, I pray just... thee help an old man of God. I set out from the monastery with four items I need to perform my duties. The Viking folk have taken these items and hidden them. I cannot remember what they are. An egg? Instead of telling me, they have given me a riddle a for each item. Alas, I am having no luck. Would you be so kind as to help me figure out the riddles, find the items and place them into the barrel? I'm a liquid, sometimes dry, drank as blood of he on high. Wine. That's this. I have forests but no trees, rivers that don't flow, seas with no breeze, mountains with no snow. I have forests with no trees, seas with no flow, mountains with no snow. What is forests with no trees? A drawing of a forest, a map? There's drawings of trees, but there's no mountains. What if the red herring wasn't a red herring at all? Ah, I'm noticing here, it says map. Look at, this is map, and the rest is a red herring. Clever, but I also could have missed that, so that was very risky. All right, what's the next riddle, old man? A container with no hinge, key or lid, and inside golden treasures hid. A container with no lid, key or hinge, or hinge or lid, inside golden treasures. Now, they've given me an egg, so I'm gonna assume it's an egg. I'm similar to angry, often hung round necks. Sometimes I look like a tea, and sometimes like an X. Ah, cross. There we go. This guy. He's wearing it. Thee have proven thyself full of kindness, thus deserving to have kindness bestowed upon thee. Oh! Oh, a little treasure. Let's go. 
What is inside the treasure box? Oh my God, so much treasure. Some sort of equation here. Uh, okay, a bunch of different squares with different colors. Like that guy looks like this, right? Number one. Yeah, definitely this is the Viking. I can see that now. Oh, look at that. Up here, there is a bit of a hint. I believe there's a dude, a tree, a house, and another tree. Okay, so the guy is one. The smaller tree would be brown and green. One nine. The house, it looks just brown and maybe yellow at the top. One nine three. One nine three. And then nine. 1939. Let's try it. Oh. 865 completed. And the treasure. Remove mini Chris and the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mini Chris. Time to go on our next adventure. Oh my God, what the hell? This is a magic trick? That's so crazy. We seem to have lost you for a moment there, but it seems that you got the treasure. Great work. Now, I can see that you were in 1939, just before the start of the Second World War. Now, they are in the process of evacuating the priceless artwork from London before, well, before it gets bombed. Good luck! Uh, and here we are, beautiful. And we've got all sorts of clues that we see already. We've got the paintings on the walls. We've got whatever's written down here. Um, and we've got a little something here. So we're gonna figure all this out. And maybe I'll hang out with this guy. Also, we got a doorknob from 1993. This is a doorknob from a bathroom in 1993. <laughs> Put that over here. To search for secret painting, you message the next year is hidden. So there's a hidden message to give me the next year. I see. I'm starting to piece together things. First, let's take this off here. It says the Pierce Company up here. Aha, uh -huh. so these are the symbols that are here. To what the, oh, okay, oh, let's grab these paintings. We have so many little paintings here. Oh my God. Oh. All right, let's take these to the different camera here. Oh. So many little pieces, hold on. You know, when making this, they didn't figure that I had like the world's fattest fingers. The Mona Lisa, all right. Okay. Here we are, folks. And uh, it looks like this is gonna give me a secret message and I have to rearrange the order in which uh, these were given to me. So we'll keep that there. Now in the back, what the hell? Okay, we got some crossword puzzles here. All these are crossword puzzles. They do have numbers on them as well. Very tiny. Uh, we have, I'll read those out in a second for you. And then we have these, so we have two types here. We have the crosswords, which is one thing. And then we have these. And these have to do with this. And it has to do as well, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So this goes there. This one goes here. Where's that one? Oh, here. And then Mona Lisa at the end. So this should say, if we look back at what we were given over here, this should say, this is the Pierce Company. You need to pierce. Oh, maybe to pierce. Correct. You need to something correct. Oh, I have to pierce the correct painting. I have to, oh my God, I have to destroy a painting? Okay. So, yep, to find the hidden secret, you gotta pierce the correct painting. So these are the uh, names of the paintings, like American Gothic over here. Uh, you know, you got self-portrait Frida Kahlo, 1938. And then down here, that and that. So I'm gonna try to match these up here. So this and this go together, these two here. Okay. 
This guy here, it says minus. On his journal, it says minus. I see that they're giving me numbers on some of these. So my guess is there's some math involved here and this is minus. Um, this would be multiplied times. And that's like equals maybe, right? You follow me? I don't know what the uh, middle one would be, but. So we have these two paintings. These two paintings are the ones that are over here on, on this side. Um, and there is a nail, so I can hang one up. But why only one? So let's just get the pairs together. We have these two. We have this one. Oh, and this one is used again for this. Okay, interesting. How can I use multiple? This one goes with both of these. Maybe I'm meant to put, like, kind of overlay them. I don't see what that would give me. Because this one is used for this one and this one, I don't want to draw on them. I think I have to draw on them, but I also don't want to ruin. All right, since we have this here, so let's see if uh, we can make this work. Five by five. Yeah, that's not a number. What is that? Let's try another one. It was this one and this one together. Let's try these two. And there was a multiply between. Yeah, unless I'm blind, that's not a number. Oh, 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 look at this. That's what goes there. And there are numbers here. There are numbers on these things. Oh, okay, all right, so this, great. This is the first one. This is the first one here. So this one is uh, six, which we'll put here. And then multiply that by a hundred, because that one says 100. And there's an X there, 100. Six times 100, 600. Oh, do you guys see that plus up there? There's a plus, 600 plus, And then we go here. Uh, so the beach one and uh, that one, okay. Uh, it's this one and uh, this one. Yeah. These two here is my next one. Be this one here. Yep, that's the next one. Cool. Which would, I guess, give me this one. All right, we're just gonna jump ahead and do that because it's the only other one with a number on it. This one. And then this one. So that's uh, 70 and four. All right, so we got, let's do some math here. Six times a hundred plus 70 minus four. So 670, that's 666. What do we do with that information? This one looks like the devil. <laughs> that might be 666. The number of the beast is 666. Yes, look at that. Some type of thing. Ugh. And that, I guess we put in here. All right, that's open. What do we got in here? It's just a man and his snake. 1666 underneath that. 1939 Remove. completed. Remove mini Chris and the statue. Done. <laughs> Whoa! Take little Chris and put him in the hole. All right, here we are. It says put Chris in the hole. Oh, thank ye, kind traveler. I see you are naught but simple folk, and then want to burn us on a stake for witchcraft and heresy. There be a ritual that can send you back whence you came. All right. 
So we're looking for something. We have all these items, by the way, that we've collected, uh, which I guess will come in handy uh, near the end. Uh, look, that little rat. You see that little rat? There's a little rat. And there's a circle on top by that cheese, so my guess is that's where the rat goes. So, how do you... Maybe the sickle can help me? Let me try and get this little ball and chain here, maybe. Hey, if they didn't want me to reach this, they shouldn't have put this in here. Come on over here. There we go. Oh! Oh, this popped off. Wait, now can I get the rat? Now it'll be easier to grab this little rat. Come here, little rat. Yes. I'm gonna put him by the cheese. And this pops open. Look at that. What's in here? Oh my God, skulls. So many skulls. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Start on X. Hold on, there's a little map here. All right. And it looks like we have to follow the trajectory using using these guys. It goes left. Up. Oh, flip it up. All right, well, we found one of them, so we'll leave that here, I guess. Here. Okay. Victoria sponge, but that's basically air. And then there were a couple of plastic creams and some stones. What's happening? Tracks has a window stored on the 17th of April, 2023. Off to 2023. Here we go. Whoa. Let's go. Oh my God. It's a laboratory. Welcome to Trax Temporal Reconstruction Analysis Experiment. Complete the following steps in any order. Press one for left and press three for right. Um, let's get our dude down here. Oh my God. That's good. Oh my God, there's a person there. This must be the intern they spoke of. Not too sure what to make of this. Uh, the sensors, uh, I do notice a few things. There are valves. And then there are these things on the walls, which have different uh, numbers, one to five, and then four different, and then a red button here. Now, important to be noted as well, that this is something we didn't do uh, check out in the beginning, but there is something on the side of the puzzle. It is this over here, okay? And that is a completely separate puzzle, I figured, that's not something we have to do right now, so I just kind of left it alone. And on the other side of the puzzle as well, there, there are these wires here, which will come into play, I presume, eventually. Just keep that in mind as we roll along here. All right, so let's explore this little spot before we do anything here. Touch any of these things. Just wanna make sure. Ah, 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 ah. A, B, and C, and then one, two, three, four, five, once again, much like this one up here. And we've got these valves. We've got a switch as well. And a button, as well as this, oh. Time juice, aha, uh -huh, time juice. And there, there seems to be a little socket that I can put that into right here. So let's go ahead and do that. The screen says solved. Oh, <laughs> that was the three valves. So apparently my genius <laughs> randomly solved that one. So now we go to the next puzzle. Ah, flange the exo pump. 
So the number of cherries, number of bananas, number of cucumbers is A, B, and C. There are no cherries or... Oh, it's just the colors. Oh, the number of item colors, maybe. Okay, there's two red items. There's the red button and the barrel, so maybe that's four. There's three, four of that, four, four, and then green. Uh, this thing is green, as well as that thing, so it's two. There we go. Solved. Replug the mega clinks. Replug the mega clinks, the plugs, over here. Gray to blue, we'll go blue on the bottom. White to gray, and then the last two. Let's go. All right, we are done. Oh no, we're not done. Reticulate the spleens, that's probably the other puzzle over there. Double, okay, it's a math equation. W equals greater than X, X equals three, Y equals W plus one, Z equals X times two. It says uh, X equals three, so we'll start there. Oh, there's numbers here. So that, that's one, two, three, so that's three. X equals three. Uh, if x equals 3 and, and, and z equals x times 2, so that's 6, 6. To find out what w is, and w is greater than x. w is actually smaller than x. Smaller than x. I presumed it was greater than x, but it's equals smaller. Which means it's 1. Here we go. Let's go. Turbocharge the temporal juice. 3, 5, 4, 2. That's this here. 2. Let's Chris, go. You Line. Now throw that switch and pull that awful intern back from time so we can lock them up. Okay, she says throw that switch and grab, pull the intern from time. All right, I got the intern. I got me. I'm gonna throw the switch. The intern has triggered a booby trap that triggered the time bomb we tried to access tracks remotely. They tell me that this could destroy all of time. Only deactivated by chronologically charged items. What item did the intern The have items access? that we had to grab. And how did she order them? Countdown sequence Place the precious initiated. collected items on the top Five, stand. Then lock four, the intern and close the cell. Three. Three seconds, oh my god. Two. Ah! One. One half. Okay, we're... <laughs> one fourth. Actually, quarter. One eighth. Where's the other thing? One sixteenth. One thirty-two. I mean thirty-second. One... 60 quarter, one 100 and two fifties are 100. I gotta put her back in the cell. Is 14 more than 50. Oh, like magnets so there. two 14s are Where's 28. So it must be one 128. One right. oh. Great, we did it partner, you and I. Well, mostly you, but I did help a little bit. We are so proud of you and incredibly thankful. Well done, you. Thank you. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Time Machine by uh, Design and Built by Peer Pressure UK. Oh, they even got all the names here of everybody who did that. So obviously they put a lot of work into this. This to me felt more like a big escape room that they made in these little miniature models, which is super interesting and original. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, there were a few finicky parts, uh, things that get lost uh, because there's so many moving parts and so many little bits. Uh, but once we got past that, like the mirror incident and, and that type of thing, uh, everything else was pretty cool. This probably would have been best solved by multiple people. Again, it feels like a giant escape room rather than a puzzle box, which is super cool. Uh, and I did, I did enjoy it. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. I've left the link to Peer Pressure uh, UK below where you can check out their work and their escape games, I think in Brighton in the UK. So thanks again, team, uh, for putting this together. Uh, you guys are amazing. And thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.